I designed one of the greatest solo farm bases in Rust. But with success comes curiosity, and I'd have to fight and claw my way to thriving as a solo farmer, while the local groups would aim to tear me down. If done properly, farming berries in Rust can allow you to make insanely overpowered teas that allow you to gather resources at an incredibly fast rate, or even give you more health than your opponents. And by learning how to create the perfect berry clone, I could take advantage of this information to thrive as a solo and have a successful wipe. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. It's time to come back to the beginning, where I'd spawned on the beach as a naked. Uh... Hello? What the f- This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now I know you've heard of Raid, but what's it really about? Well let me be your guide to everything Raid. Raid is always evolving and increasing its roster of awesome looking champions. And they've now introduced a brand new rarity of champion, Mythical. These new Mythical champions are a step above legendary champions and have a crazy new feature called Metamorph, which allows them to change between two different forms. Mythical champions can essentially be two champions in one using this awesome Metamorph mechanic. You can summon these awesome Mythical champions from brand new Primal Shards in the portal. Both of the Mythical champions forms use the same artifacts accessories, masteries, and blessing. So be careful when you're choosing how to use them. These mythical champions are the most versatile champions ever seen in Raid. They allow you to tailor your playstyle and create synergies across both forms. Raid's latest update is all about you and your clan, with a new clan league and clan insignia feature. You can customize your own awesome logo for the whole world to see, so you can work together with your clan to earn shiny clan stars and decorate your insignia. Also, if you scan my QR code right here, you'll get a free starter pack with this awesome in-game loot. So make sure to check out my link in the description, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring this video. Hey, what's up everyone? How you guys doing today? I'm back playing some solo rust. And I cannot wait for this fresh wipe today. I'm playing on a weekly, and the plan for today is to progress as quickly as possible as a solo using farming as a method. And I've learned so much about farming over the last like week. I'm talking like growing berries and hemp. So yeah, I'm, I'm keen to put it into, into action today. So let's get cracking. Have a look at this map. Okay. Oh, that. Yeah, we need to head to the snow. There's only two rivers on this map, and this one looks perfect. Yeah, if we can get a horse, that'd be perfect, because then I don't have to travel so far to come back and get one. Might try and do like a boar challenge or something. Oh, I love Wipe Day so much, man. Man, this server is like. There's already a bunch of nakeds. It's gonna be busy. Come here. I love the NPC challenges. Just try and get like one of each berry. It'll be perfect. Except for green, because green are useless. Ooh, we could grow potatoes. Potatoes are so good to heal up. Oh, I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited to make this farm. Hello. Oh, damn. <laughs> Got the black thoroughbred. Let's go. Damn, this thing is fast. Doesn't even have uh, horseshoes on. Ah, oh, we're gonna get there in no time with this thing. Oh, man. It's gonna be so good. I think there's no one out here for a little while. I'm not sure that's going to be the case though. Ah, that feels good. I mean, it's on, still on wood, but <laughs> this farm base is so cool. It's actually so cool.
<laughs> it's so cheap to build. <laughs> This spot close to sewer is not good to build because I don't want to feel like I need to move. It's going to be a big team there. Sewer is going to be contested, that's for sure. So the main thing we need here, uh, we need tarp and we need a few tech trash for solar panels and planter boxes. 11 arrows in a dream, hey? No way. <laughs> He's dropping tarp. I don't know if it's worth going out to the lighthouse. Oh man, I just heard a horse. No way. I assume there's someone running the lighthouse right now. Get their horse down there. They're gonna be livid. likes building in the snow, I guess. It's weird. Console kids are weird. That's annoying. No way. Oh my god. Just keep running. Actually. Yeah, you're not dead. Get out of here. That has is huge. That's three top. Oh man, the headshot sound is so satisfying. I would imagine that guy's not solo, so I am getting out of here. Alright, I'm gonna take this Hazzy to recycle. And we'll head down to harbour this time. And harbour's been looted too. Right. It's be good to get some metal frags home. Some of you guys be hating that I'm recycling that hazzy, but honestly, for me, the three tarp are more valuable right now. Yeah, we got a little ice lake base. Hello? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that would have scared the shit out of him. Man, so many horses. This one looks like a fast boy, too. 
Let's get a furnace going. And yeah, we can make a tier one. And make a few... Get the farm started. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I don't actually have any ore to cook <laughs> in the furnace just yet. I'd had a flawless run and got a starter farm base down in the snow, having scored a fast thoroughbred horse and some useful components to start designing my berry farm. I felt like there was nothing that could stop me. Damn, I just heard someone outside. No fucking way, are you kidding me? No way, that's happening already. No way. Oh, bro. Fucking pick up the arrows, dude. No way that just happened. I literally didn't even have metal for a metal door. Like, it's not like I didn't craft one, I just literally didn't have any. There's only one guy. I might have sealed the other guy out, actually. Yeah, there's two guys. No fucking way. Oh my god, if I'd hit that headshot. <laughs> what do you mean? After not even an hour on the server at Fresh Wipe, I'd been caught off guard with a wooden door and lost everything to this duo. They even griefed my base, so I wouldn't be able to rebuild there. Fucking sealed me, are you kidding? They griefed me, oh my god. So after stopping for a much needed coffee break, it was back to square one. Little did I know that this early game raid would be a blessing, and the new location that I built in just down the river would contribute to me thriving as a solo on this fresh wipe. Uh, that is bullshit. I, can, I can't believe that actually happened. I was not ready. They were fast though, like, it's so early into wipe, like it's less than an hour into wipe, and they're already flame raiding. Yep, 
I guess we go again. Wipe day just got significantly harder for me. Fuck. <laughs> like, so much harder. Try to fight back when I don't have a bow now. The pain of wipe day as a solo man, I tell you. So yeah, it was back to the beach and slumming it against the grubs for now. Okay, let's get some sewing kits recycled, get some bags going. Holy fuck. Suck it, man. How do you fumble that? Yeah, that's solid though, that's enough stone for loose. Fuck me. No fucking way. We are in struggle town right now. This area is so fucking busy. Oh my god. It's so hard to come back after an early death. Or at least they destroyed TC, so it's gonna decay. I don't have to see it every time I go for a farm run. Are there any two crates up here? GG Rage Quit, yeah. <laughs>
Let's go. After a rocky start, I'd finally found my feet and secured a build spot. And with the sheet metal door down, I was now at least four satchels to raid. With how busy my area was, I thought it'd be safest to take a boat out and farm the ocean spawns. This was perfect as I had a river that led straight from the ocean to my front door. This compact farm base that I was building could house about 10 planter boxes, and I'd need two tarp for each of them. Yes, <laughs> we got one. To finish the farm base, we need we need 22. Yes. Yeah, this is definitely how I'm going to be farming scrap this way. I reckon it's going to be too busy on the road near sewer. But if it's like this busy already, it's going to be unplayable tonight. <laughs> so we need a we need a different strategy. Please no door campers. Yes. <laughs> yes, and a horse is still alive. I think we'll put an airlock on on the front too. And after my first ocean run, I was able to finally get the first planter box down. Mira. Cool part about this base is uh, this little technique. <laughs> Hell yeah. Prime our boxes, our planter boxes. so good this is such a good way to like get your farm up early as early as possible obviously when you get a uh, get raided it doesn't help but because i can pretty much get this farm going just with one or two solar panels and a small battery it's like all you need to get this farm going that's for like 10 planter boxes which is kind of crazy so we need a solar panel is the next uh, next order of business. I try and make a play here, to be honest. This guy's probably got cards, so. strafe strategy it's gonna be so good for those sorts of fights hey let's go got the green card okay let's see if we can do a sewer run oh let's go thought it was gonna be looted <laughs> sprinkler come on tech trash or solar panel is what I really need Ugh. blue card is good though could run train could even run power so we get this tier 2 down, and I'm going to make a generator, because I don't want to rely on finding tech trash. It's holding us up too much. Now we're finally at the point of making some progress, getting this farm going. Uh, 
And we have lights. Let's go, man. I mean, it's a temporary fix, but I'm, I'm cool with it for now. So you can actually put a uh, fertilizer into your planter boxes and it makes the ground 100%. Cute, cute, cute. Getting cloth is going to be pretty handy. We'll try and get that. Okay, we're starting to, starting to look a little bit like a farm. Beautiful. Going morning. Hey, how long have we got here? Almost done. Oh, I'm gonna take clones of these. And then we'll replant the best clones, like the one with, ones with the most G's is what we want. Two G's, like, will they'll grow pretty fast. Which is a chainsaw. Definitely making a chainsaw. Oh, I love the chainsaw so much. Man, you guys should see when I get the uh, the pure wood tea with a chainsaw is actually insane. I was still in desperate need of tech trash for a solar panel, so I headed back out in search of it. Yes. Yes. I mean, I kind of want to keep the laptop, but low grade's pretty important, and I don't want to waste all my low grade using the uh, generator. Perfect. Oh, is it two? No, dude. No, dude. Fuck's sake! No! Oh. The one bloody time I need to make a home safe. I'd had enough of being bullied on this server, so I decided it was time to craft a weapon. Definitely down there, but should we go? Looks like he recycled my tech trash anyway. Surely that's not how I lose my first Tommy. Please, man. Give this little solo a break. Just as a chance. 
shed. Don't bleed. Don't bleed. That's so dead. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's that fucking dude. They live down there. Oh, that's how I lost my first tummy. So many grubs. <laughs> like, in hindsight, there was no way I was getting away with that. Like, no way in hell. I could make a saw. Could make a saw and go do some ocean farming. I think that's the play right now. It's getting pretty spicy out there. Sewer's gonna be nuts for the next like half hour. is a lot. Maybe I'll make a P2. Let's make a P2. Can't afford a sar just yet. And to be honest, we're gonna start thinking about main base. Because this is definitely not main base. If I leave it like this for too long, I'm gonna get raided again. Four hundred and forty scrap still. Tier two. After being raided. I think I think we're actually not doing too bad for ourselves. The plan is to stay out until we have enough tar to finish the farm base. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. I completed a full circle around the map on a boat and made it back to my base absolutely loaded with comms. Not to mention enough tarp to pretty much finish setting up my farm base. It was time to get this farm booming. Oh man, that was a massive run. Oh my god. Damn, we almost have a tier 3. That is insane. That's insane. After getting raided. Okay, we're gonna get this running again just for a little bit. Alright, I'm going to chew for a sec, have a little break, make some coffee, and I'll be right back. Get me out of here. Dude, getting that, getting that tech trash was so difficult today. I guess it's just like RNG luck. to the to the door frame so we can actually just remove those and have it all open <laughs> but we might want a low wall somewhere here to put the uh, heaters I guess Uh, 
that's so cool, man. That's so cool. <laughs> it's so sick. It's actually so sick. Um, and then put door frame there just for evenness. So I goes there, and then this one will go like here. Then we can sit up here and look down on this planter box. Beautiful. Power in. Pass through is going to go to the lights. be getting light now I think yep <laughs> uh, so good how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine nine planter boxes I mean I could get one here I think but I'm not gonna worry about it for now and the next step is the sprinkler system which will only take a second Like Willy Wonka in his chocolate factory, <laughs> climbing up the ladder. Man, this is the sickest hemp farm ever. <laughs> the best farm base ever. Oh, I really need to get the main base down now. This thing's finally pretty much sorted. Just gonna hook up the the pump for water on a timer and maybe a couple more heaters, but otherwise it's pretty much sorted. We're gonna be churning out so much farm. Seems so long ago, man. Those fucking dudes came and raided me. I wonder if I'll see them again. Ah, oh, it's glorious. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at that, man. It's actually so cool. It's so efficient. It's only... What do we got? Three... Yeah, three lights, two heaters. <laughs> ourselves a little Jackie. And then we hope that we make the ride home safely. That's all that we can hope for. Okay. We made it. I'll return this uh, sprinkler system up for a bit. I think these berries might be ready to pick. Let's have a look. Got the SMG body too. Uh, yeah, right. Nice. Right, let's get the next next berry color going. Might as well do white and red at the same time. I do want to do potatoes at some point too. Just so I can keep the horse fed. 
keep myself fed, you know. I'm a hungry boy. And now we're gonna start like trying to crossbreed to get a god yellow. I won't bore you guys with the details, but if you don't know what crossbreeding is, it's essentially trying to get the best clone of a seed so that it produces the most yield in the shortest amount of time. A god clone is when the seed has three Ys and three Gs, which maximizes both yield and rate of growth. So that was the aim. It's time for a much needed addition to this base. Oh yeah, that's the shit. I had had a great time farming, but had pretty clearly become complacent. And as things started to heat up around my area again, it gave me the push that I needed to focus on putting down a main base to secure my loot. Holy shit. Jesus, man. Oh, that scared me. Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> man, the classic how I just like spam the P2 when I get scared. When I get jump scared, I just like, oh god. Sorry, not today. Get out of here, man. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. I feel like he was definitely heading this way. Kind of came from my base and then started running this way. Oh yeah, my potato. What a what a dog. What a dog horse. Oh, I really gotta get this main base down. Like I've been talking about it for a long time. But now I'm starting to cause a bit of trouble. Make a bit of noise, you know. How good is this little farm man? <laughs> it's so good. Now all we do is we keep one god clone. This will be my god clone box. That cannot be touched. Ah, farming is so good. I don't know, like, I don't know why people don't like farming. Seriously, like, one of the most enjoyable parts of this game. The time has come, man. The time has come to go find somewhere to put a base down. So I think realistically, I want to, like, Maybe just up on the hill? Rolling up on me. 
going there, boys? Yeah, I don't know if they even I don't know if they even saw me, to be honest. I feel like they should have, but I just saw them out there like the corner of my eye. That's really lucky. Surely not in this little base. Unless it's a proper farm base. Yeah, this kid's coming to door camp. this farm base so much. I wish I could just live out of it for the whole way. <laughs> but unfortunately that's not an option. some fighting I can come in sweep up the leftovers no way it's free Poor naked, almost got away. <laughs> almost got away with the fruits and free guns. of that base, fuck. Can we still make it work? I mean, this could be the disconnectable part. So it should still work. Combed. Vitamins in history book. Nice. 
nice, man. Makes me feel so much safer already. Cause my perspective is broken. After a roller coaster on day one, where I'd recovered from an early wipe raid, I was set up for what would be an action packed wipe if I was able to survive the first night offline. And you guys will have to wait and see how far this little solo berry farmer could push the limits, or if it would all come crashing down. Wandering.